Hi you guys, this is Soy from Planning and Teaching. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another plan with me and my teacher Happy Planner. Um, it's going up uber late, so you will be watching it on a Monday. Hopefully next week I'll be able to upload it on Sundays, but the life of a teacher, the life of a mom. Um, so we're just trying to get it out as soon as we can. But the goals are to have them out by Sunday, but if not, Monday morning. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So um, as you guys know, last week was a four-day week um, for us, and it's a four-day week for us this week as well. So I'm going to try to kind of go with the same thing that I did last week um, as far as using um, decoration. So we don't have another long weekend next week. But um, some people did request um, um, a tutorial on how I did uh some people requested a tutorial on how I did these stickers, so I will be doing that this week as well. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly pop these on. Alright, so this is the third nine weeks, week two, and it's going to be 1, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And of course, I am starting with my strips. Um, Mamby, if you are listening, I most we most definitely need um tons of sheets of these activity strips or just blank strips so that we can indicate when we have activity. And I think that I'm out of blank strips. Or I have a few left. I have two green ones left. I have literally used all of my strips up. Since we go to the same activity Monday and Friday, that worked out perfect. And we started music this semester, so we go on Tuesday. Okay? Alright. So, my students have homework due this Tuesday, so I'm going to put it under miscellaneous. So, homework due... Um, and it'll be for a homework grade. Okay, and I'm gonna give myself a little star to grade by Friday. And then I'll give them a new homework assignment and it will be due next Tuesday. I like to give my kids a week to do their homework. I don't like to give them homework every single night. Um, it's not something I care about doing for them. I really want them to um, enjoy being kids. So, and I know homework is important because it reinforces what we teach. But I believe also that having time with your family is important as well. And not being bog, um, bogged down with um, homework. So I don't give my kids a lot of homework. At most they get uh, two sheets and both of them are due back the following week. Um, we don't have any, I am, I think I'm out of my favorite stickers. Um, which are my checklist stickers. I have a few, so I'm gonna use one here for my small group on Monday. And, no, oops, I'm not gonna be in school on Monday. What am I thinking? For my small group on Tuesday. And I'm gonna use one for my small group on Thursday. 
okay? Some out of those. Martin Luther King Day is Monday, which is why we're going to be out of school. So I'm just going to place that right over there. Okay. I don't have any staff development days. Let's see what else. So I'm going to do a little bit of decorating across the top. And I'm going to do that last. I am going to put a priority sticker here. Even though I'm not going to be in school, I want to remind myself to make sure I have all tier documentation done for my tier two students. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of decorating across the top. And I'm going to do that last. I am going to put a priority sticker here. Even though I'm not going to be in school, I want to remind myself to make sure I have all tier documentation done for my tier two students. Okay, this to do sticker, and I'm going to lay it down on writing on Tuesday. Definitely going to be utilizing some checklists in a moment. Teacher's gonna teach sticker. So cute. I'm gonna lay it. If I can lay it straight, I'll lay it right here. And you guys, um, in a couple of weeks. My teacher videos, my teacher plan with me's are going to stop for a little while and I will go into uh, more detail when that comes up. I need this remember sticker, um, miscellaneous. Tier two, I need reminders frequently. Remind me about tier. Okay. All right. So let's look at my icons. I'm going to stick with the yellow for social studies this week. All right. We're going to be working on a web quest for the Boston Tea Party. Okay, and we're going to do another web quest on the tensions in Boston, talking about all the acts that occurred around that time. All right, and then I'm going to be ready to quiz them because we're spending eight days talking about something. So it, it's definitely time to quiz them. So I'm definitely going to quiz them on Friday. And this is week 11. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for social studies. Um, on Wednesday, we're going to uh, review the newspaper. We're going to finish up our articles and knock out our um, crossword puzzle. We're going to finish up articles and crossword puzzle. Okay, now this segues me into writing. We're going to talk about persuasive writing. And parts of a speech, okay? So not parts of speech, 
but what um, the different components that make up a speech because my students are writing a speech um, this week as a part of their social studies assignment, but I'm going to grade it for a writing assignment. Okay, so we are going to do a class speech on Wednesday. to um, community leaders. Let's say about um, activities. There's not a lot of activities for my kids to participate in around here, so that'll be a good one. Then we're going to do some revision and editing. Alright, so we're going to do some revising, so revision and edit, and then the assignment on Friday is going to be to complete a speech social studies okay so that's writing so what are we working on in um, language I'm going to pull out this because it's going to give me my basis for language this week and I'm going to grab a blue one for reading this week. Okay, so for language, I want to talk about the difference between revising versus editing. We're going to talk about tools for revision. We're going to be talking about tools for editing. And then we're going to revise multiple papers. So multiple examples, okay? So that's for the whole week, but I'm gonna put a star beside the one that we're actually gonna do on Tuesday, which is going to be talking about the difference between revision and editing. And um, we're going to go ahead and talk about the tools for revision. Then when Wednesday, we're going to talk about the tools for editing, and then we're going to revise a sample paper, and it is going to be my I do, we do, you do, and then on Thursday, we're going to edit that paper. I do, we do, you do. And then we're going to have some, we're going to revise and edit something different. Another sample. And so we are going to be working on revising And editing P, B, and J partners. Um, I saw this really cute, cute thing on Instagram where this teacher has their has her students set up like peanut butter and jelly or um, biscuits and gravy partners. So that when she calls that out, they go to those partners. So our P, B, and J partners in class. So just peanut butter and jelly, that means that I have two partners. Uh, rock, paper, scissors remain that there are three. But PB&J partners um, are going to be revising and editing. All right, so let's talk about the goals for reading this week. We want to knock out chapters one through three in Johnny Tremaine. We want to start 
literature circles. I need to introduce the roles and group assignments and schedules. So I'm going to do all of that on Tuesday. All of that is going to be done on Tuesday. On Wednesday, okay, on Wednesday, we're going to go in the centers. We're going to talk about characters, traits, and analysis. So, character traits. We're going to talk about, oh, yeah, I also need to talk about our root words. So, we're going to talk about those here. We're going to talk about figurative language also. And that's pretty much what we're going to be knocking out all week. Thursday, we're going to do a quick check on character traits because it's something we've already talked about. So character traits, quick check. We're going to continue talking about our root words for the week. We're going to do some figurative language work. Independent practice. We're definitely going in the centers. And I'm going to be meeting with lit groups. So I'm still going to be meeting with all of my literature groups. So meet with lit groups. We're going to do a figurative language quick check. We're going to do a Johnny Tremaine quiz. And it's going to be skills, not what they remember about the actual test. And then we're going to do a character trait quiz. And then we're going to do a quick write on Johnny Tremaine. Okay. All right. So let's talk about um, small group and what I have going on for miscellaneous. So I want to also tell myself to turn in letter. Um, nothing else that I know of going on for miscellaneous. I'm going to meet with two students. Move or keep. Start next cycle. Same thing here. New cycle for my two students. And then I want to meet with my low vocab, my low reading comp, and my low reading info students. And then on Friday, I'm not going to be meeting with any students on that day. So I basically ran out of all stickers that I used to kind of decorate in my teacher book. So I'm going to look in my, I'm going to grab this no school sticker here. And put it over Monday. Well, I guess I didn't even need to use my PE sticker because we're not going on Monday. So I will save that for next week. And I can use my no school sticker. When you find the sunshine, be the sunshine. 
I'm going to put that here. This sticker that says just keep going, I'm going to place it right here. You know hump day is really a hard day for most people. I'm going to grab my get to work sticker and I'm going to put it right here beside Tuesday to remind myself, hey, we're getting it going for the week. like this hustle sticker but it's going to be too big so I'm gonna cut it down and I'm gonna place it under my tier meetings I'm trying to get this thing accomplished now I do have a meeting scheduled for Friday so that will fall under miscellaneous I'm gonna put this little flag right there and write tier to meeting okay all right and that's gonna wrap up my spread for the week you guys I hope you enjoyed it um, not really sure what that was I hope you guys enjoyed it I did I'm putting it together I like to leave this blank um, so when things come up I can just kind of write in what I have going on um, any parents that I need to call anything like that even though it says next week um, maybe something pops up this week that I need to do or I called a parent and I I like to jot it down in here just in case I forget to put it in my um, parent contact log that way I can always reflect back and say yes I did call you on this day so um keep god first in everything you do remember to subscribe to my channel um i have a a very nice giveaway coming up make sure you check out my plan with me and my mini happy planner i am talking about that awesome giveaway that i have going on for um subby appreciation so thanks so much again you guys and happy planning and teaching